is now a boundary around you to where you know what's coming. Do you get it? Like you're broadcasting that I am alert and aware. So the first one is broadcasting that. Should you surprise attack me, I am ready and prepared to fight back. The second one is saying, I am, I have a, a sensory area where I am, you know, observant and observing my surroundings so that no one can sneak up on me. Okay. So the way we broadcast to other people our intentions is how we sh like help them define us so if i'm if i'm promoting to you that i'm highly aware of my environment you're probably going to assume you know that i have you know the ability to defend myself because the people who don't have the ability to defend themselves usually aren't aware of their environment. Because to become aware of your environment, you have to become willing to prepare, like prepared to defend yourself. You have to have the ability. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to go out in society because it's too high risk. So most people just ignore all of that stuff and assume that, you know, it won't happen to me and then become a victim, you know, to society when it does and they outsource their protection and safety to the police, which, you know, if, if the police show up in a time of need, that's great. Like, you know, you're on the good end. If they don't, you know, like, that's just life. Like, they're just people and they can only do the best they can. Like, they can't be everywhere. And that's, you know, one of the problems in, in society is we've sort of put this, like, uh, I wouldn't say onus, but this expectation that police should be there, you know, basically as soon as something bad happens. Which the problem is, is then the culture for policing is trying to identify those situations. And then, you know, a result of that is wrongly accusing people, or wrongly identifying people who may or may not have been doing anything in that action weren't doing anything. But because of the interaction, a breach was found. So it's sort of like... Statistically, the police, you know, have found if you do an RBT, okay, like if you get 100,000 drivers through, like statistically, there'll be X amount of drink drivers, X amount of drug drivers, X amount of disqualified drivers. And, you know, it's not a bad thing, but the problem is, is when it's done predatory. Do you know what I mean? So, like when we're just doing it to revenue raise, so like for example, we do those RBTs on public holidays where there's double demerits and double fine, that's a little bit predatory. But, I digress. But yeah, so it's sort of like, In life, spirituality, like, I hope you start to see and understand that, like, you're the one who determines it. You're the one who defines it. Like, whatever it means to you is what it means. Like, the same as honor, the same as honesty. The same as trust. Whatever trust means to you is what trust means. Like the, the problem in life is when you try and like dictate to others what trust has to mean. Like, so for example, if trust to me means 
you know, like let's say you don't cheat or steal. Okay. Like I'll just tell you, if you cheat and steal with me, I won't trust you. Like that's my non-negotiable. And you have the choice to say, you know, no, I don't agree to that. Or yes, I do agree to that. Just like if you say to me, you know, these are my boundaries on this. I have the choice to say yes or no. If I say yes, then I have to uphold them. Like, do you understand? So rather than asking people to say, like, oh, please don't cheat and steal from me. It's like, no, if you cheat and steal from me, this relationship's done, you know, it's ended. So, so it's sort of flipping that in life, what we ask from, from others. So whatever we ask for from others, people will do that to us. So if you ask people not to fuck you over, people will fuck you over. If you tell people, don't fuck me over, no one will fuck you over. Because the difference is, if I ask you, I'm identifying that to you. You're now aware of that. If I tell you, I'm letting you know the red line in the sand, that should you cross it, you know what I mean? So you now understand the boundary and you may push that, try to push that boundary. But like it, you have to realize that like whatever boundaries you set, okay, like you don't have to set them meanly, but if people cross them, you have to, like you have to take action. Like if you let them cross them, and then you don't take action on your boundary, they will continue to cross them. And then the next thing you know, you're a shell of a person. So just remember that boundaries are how we interact with each other. And when we ask people not to do something, we ensure that they will. So it's easier to tell people and not in the sense of telling them like, Hey, if you, if you call me a dickhead, like I'm going to punch you in the face. No, it's like, Hey, if you talk to me disrespectfully, like I'm going to get up and leave. And then if they talk to you disrespectfully, you just get up and leave. Like when you put yourself in a situation to where you accept people to act, or treat you how you do not want to be treated. You you are destroying and degrading your self worth, your ideal of self. So just understand, like setting boundaries and enforcing boundaries is how you build self confidence and self worth within yourself. All right. Well, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.